Well, I just took my first Lexapro pill after having been off Lexapro for about a month. And um, I know that the effect of it is inevitable upon my body, that I will start to feel some raising of my mood and kind of a protection against the lowest moods that I could go into. I drew a little diagram that shows how I think about, one way I think about these medicines operating in my body right now. Um, this isn't necessarily the medical point of view, but it's uh, one way that I think about them. In a normal person, you have fluctuations in mood, up and down, the dotted line here. In a bipolar person, you have extreme fluctuations of mood from mania to depression. So mania being up here, depression being down here. A normal person doesn't, um, except with ex extenuating circumstances, reach um, that type of depression. But a bipolar person, without any reason, uh, reaches l the low lows of depression and the high highs of mania. With lithium, a mood stabilizer, we take this curve, which was very chaotic, very labile, very unstable, and we kind of squunch it down. So lithium, as a mood stabilizer, squunches down the curve. So it makes it so that the highs aren't as high and the lows aren't as low. So now the bipolar patient's curve looks more like um, a normal person's curve, maybe not quite as um, as plain as a normal person's curve, but but plainer. So that's the effect of a mood stabilizer. So these are the, I'm going to show you the effects of the three medicines that I'm taking right now. So that's the lithium, the mood stabilizer. Then I'm taking saffris or acenapine, which is an antipsychotic. In bipolar patients, it's designed to help with mania, so it's designed to prevent mania from occurring. Um, I think of it as kind of a chopping off of the top of one of these hills. So instead of, without saffris, instead of the curve going up here like that, um, with saffris, the mania is targeted, and instead of having an upward curve, you basically just have a straight line. So you don't experience um, that manic swing. You experience uh, flatter affect. And um, for these lows, the Lexapro or Escitalopram does a similar thing. Um, so instead of the low dipping down where it would have, the Lexapro prevents it from doing that. And you get a flat, kind of a, more of a flat line. Um, or a bottoming out of emotion, a um, just a more even emotion where before you would have had sadness and depression, you now have um, just a more even sort of mood. So you have, all in all, lithium squinching down the curve. You have saffris cutting off the manic mountaintops and Lexapro cutting off the depressive um, valleys. That's part of how I think about what these medicines are going to be doing in my body right now and what the outlay of the three medicines that I'm taking are, how they're going to be interacting. So, yeah, I um, hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you in the future.